Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part number two of Dad Game Show episode 11. Today we're going to be taking a look at the different Heart of the Swarm uh, uh, pre-maps that people have made, uh, particularly one uh, by a man named Xenox. Um, he, he's done a really great job. He did four different maps uh, showing the uh, changes that are coming in Heart of the Swarm. So in, in, in uh, the first part of the show, we looked at the Terran aspect of things, and now I'm going into part number two. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the Zerg aspect uh, of things. Should be quite interesting. Go ahead and go to the Zerg. Change to red for fun. So, interestingly, yeah, we're going to... We'll take a look at uh, what's... Was going down here. And here we go, the game is loading up. We see here, uh, We uh, really, we just see the different uh, changes. They, they're again, they're on 1.1. They're constantly updating this, um, they're constantly updating this 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 thing with uh, when they get more info about how the thing the game's supposed to run. So interestingly enough, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're just going to do. We require more minerals. We're just gonna go ahead and do we everything more that we can do with the Zerg. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. So uh, if we go ahead and take a look at the, uh, if we go ahead and take a look at the uh, larva sections here, actually I didn't even say rally points. Derp -a derp. So we go ahead and take a look at the uh, the stuff here. We see that we have your drone, your overlord, dergling. Um, we have a thing called a viper, which we'll take a look at. Uh, we have roaches, hydras, and festers. We have a thing called a swarm host, which we'll take a look at. And then we have ultralisks, corruptors, and mutalisks. Double extractor trick. I'm being greedy. So we're gonna yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these these guys here. Spawning pool down. Go ahead and grab gas as well. So yeah, but there really isn't anything. Uh, the only thing that's been changed from the current units, um, there really hasn't been a lot of changes. The only thing the roaches are fast, or not roaches, hydras are faster off creep now, which is cool. That's a, a very nice thing to. Uh, to have because the hydras are just dead slow and not very viable at all. Other than that, there really isn't hasn't been any uh, any specific changes uh, that have come up yet. So look at that pro timing right as it as it finishes at 100 gas. We're gonna go get a queen up. We'll go ahead, as soon as that's done, we'll get a lair as well. <coughs> we'll go all the way up to uh, Ultralisk too, because they got a little bit of a change as well. So... Queen will be coming up very shortly. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go grab a lair uh, right now, and then we're going to we're going to build a baneling nest for right now. Um, we don't need to. Sh I don't need to demonstrate that hydras are faster off creep. Whoop de do. Um, we're gonna get our lair up first. Uh, 
dry dog for a moment. So we'll get our baneling nests up as soon as our lair is done. It's just about half done morphing. We're going to go ahead and grab our hive tech. Um, uh, is there anything interesting else? No, nothing else that was very interesting. At least it stuck out to me anyways. S Zerglings. Banelings are done. Cool. Um, so we're going to grab Baneling Speed for fun. Actually, we need Baneling Speed. Uh, so that's done. The Lair Tech's done. We're going to get an Infestation Pit. S, we're going to build a couple of vipers as well. We're going to take a look and see what those guys can do as well. Because they're new. Infestation pit coming down right now as we speak, and then we'll be able to go ahead and grab our ultralisk den, um, as well as our... There's a hive tech uh, uh, upgrade for the banelings now, which is the evolved tunneling claws, or tunneling jaws, should I say. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna actually morph these guys to banelings. Cool stuff. Um, so here we go. We got our. While these are doing their thing, we have our, these things called vipers. Vipers have three different abilities. They have an ocular parasite, uh, which lets uh, one unit become permanently detected, uh, which is very very cool. We require more Vespin gas. Okay. Make sure I have enough. Um, we, they have a, a blinding cloud ability, which is a 75 uh, energy, which causes a blinding cloud to all units. It reduces spellcaster ranges by one. And then we have an abduct, which pulls things to you. So, um, these guys have 200 energy. We'll just let them raise their energy for a moment. We'll grab hive tech as well. Hive tech. One S. We're going to actually build some overlords, because... We need overloads. For the time being. Hive tech coming up. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually gonna do the ocular parasite with this guy, so I'm gonna give it to the queen. Queen now is detection, which is very, very cool. So if a DT were to run up, you can attack it. It's <coughs> automatic detector, which is very nice. Indeed. Next, uh, this guy's got Blinding Cloud, sweet. Um, this guy's also got Blinding Cloud, so we'll go ahead and do Blinding Cloud. Blinding Cloud, boom. <coughs> if that were to hit something else, reduce, um, their, their range by one. And then we're also gonna do Abduct, so I'm gonna pull a Baneling right to me. So we're gonna go Abduct, and Baneling, pull. And so it pulls an enemy or friendly unit towards you. So you can pull... Oh, I don't know. Um, you can pull uh, colossi that are sitting on the high ground towards you, whatever you need to do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make some swarm hosts. We're going to get this upgrade real quick, too. Get some of those guys. Oh yeah, we need to go to Ultralisk Caverns. We require more Vespin gas. We require more uh, we're gonna check out the swarm hosts. Sarah rings. Alright, cool. So the swarm hosts are these really weird looking things. Um they can burrow right at the top of the ramp. And they auto produce these things called locusts. And locusts are like, they look like little mini hydralisks. And basically, all they do is they attack stuff. No big deal. Nothing to be too, do, too, too concerned about. Uh, we're gonna build our ultralisk cavern as well. I don't think you'll be able to see the changes with the ultralisks, but we'll see. Alright, so it looks like that upgrade is done. 
Banelings now. Oh, I need to evolve, bro. We require more Vespian gas. Come on. Come on. Hurry up, get the stupid gas. So we can get Burrow. Burrow. There we go. As soon as Burrow's done. Um, give us some time for that. Give us some time for this. Alright. Come on, Ultrasco. We require. An ultralisk. <coughs> Grab the gas for those guys. Watch all these guys in the banelings. But you see where this guy, this guy is going. He can pretty much do whatever he wants. He can. So this is this is really meant. This th this unit is meant for like. Sieging up, they're like siege tanks, sort of. So what we'll do is we'll send them over to the watchtower, to the Zilnaga watchtower. We require more Vespine gas. Metamorphosis complete. And I know I'm not getting up the optimum amount of drones or whatever. I don't care right now. I'm just building an ultralis. Uh, where's the ultra's gonna pop? There he is. Alright, so... Here's the broken thing about the Zerg for the next patch. Burrow. And then with the, the, the uh, upgrade that you can move them underground. Oh, hey look. Here's a Terran walling off his front, right? Here's... Zerg... Or here's... Uh, Banelings. Here's Banelings moving underground. Moving over... They move kind of slow, but that doesn't matter. If there's a wall off underground here, and Terran doesn't suspect a thing, or if Protoss is walled off, they don't suspect a thing. Oh, hey, hey, we're gonna waltz right into your main. Walk, sit right in your mineral line, and then explode. Boom. There goes all your workers. Kind of broken. Uh, charge ability. Let's see if I can charge the queen. Can I charge the queen? So if I attack the queen... Oh. No, doesn't have the ability. Oh, there we go. If I go charge, it attacks. This is, yeah, that was kind of cool. Yeah, I had a cooldown. But you saw that, where it burrows, it comes out, it attacks, and then it attacks the things. <coughs> so, uh, I believe that's all of the interesting things that I had to say for Zerg. I think that was it. Um, I mean... Nidus Worm, Spire, Hydrogen, uh, yeah, whoop de doo Nothing, nothing else is really super duper interesting. All of these units are really pretty much the same, except these are two new units, as well as Banelings can move, and then Ultralisks can charge into things. So as you can see, they charge, they start attacking, voila. Very cool. Kind of broken, but kind of cool as well. Alright, uh, that concludes part number two of this Heart of the Swarm preview... Uh, we're going to part number three, and then we're for part number three, we're going to actually take a look at the Protoss things, and I, I've shown the Protoss quite a few times, so we'll just be <coughs> very, very brief. I'll show probably just the one broken thing in there, and then the rest of it you really don't need to see. Um, so I'll show you the, the one really, really broken thing, uh, and then I will be done. So uh, that's it, guys. We're going to go into part number three. Stay tuned.